everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome I'm so happy that you stopped by today consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below and right beside it there's a little notification bell make sure that you hit that so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and thank you so much to all my current subscribers for all of your support I do have a small Dollar Tree haul for y'all today but I'm also going to do a giveaway as well. Um, my schedule has been super crazy. Um, if you don't know, or if I haven't mentioned, or if I mentioned, I did start a new job um, a couple of weeks ago. And the training process has been, to say the least, a little challenging. And my work hours are crazy. Super, super crazy. And... I noticed I didn't even do a 1500 subscriber giveaway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a small little giveaway I'm just gonna get a gift card from Dollar Tree because that's our place to be right and we love shopping there so I will be doing a $25 gift card to Dollar Tree and I will post all of the requirements for the giveaway in the description box below um, all you have to do in the comment section below is put hashtag gift card, hashtag gift card. That's it. That's all you need to do. I will run that, this, the giveaway probably from today to Friday. Hopefully, hopefully I will have a, another video up for you next Sunday. So make sure that your notification bell is hit. Make sure you hit that so that you know when I upload a video because it may be Sunday, it may be Monday because of the craziness going on in my work life. But I do have a small haul for you. Not a whole, whole lot, but I did find some wish list items. I found some new items that were in my store and one kind of just random weird like item that I picked up and a card from Miss Karen Sellers that I do want to read at the end of the haul. So let's jump into it, guys. Let's jump into this haul. Okay, seasonal items. Um, I just picked up just simple uh, from the garden. I don't have my glasses. I don't have my glasses, guys. They're sitting right here. I'm trying to give, I'm just going to give my little eyes a little bit of a break uh, because I've been staring at a computer, computer screens. Um, just by the garden collection, just some gloves. I got some rose bushes for Mother's Day and I. I bought the little wire trellis and I need to kind of put them in that one rose bush and I cannot find my gloves and I know I have plenty of them I just picked those up they're just just for that um in that area where they have all the gardening section they did have the personal care insect repellent it is plant-based <laughs> plant-based repellent repels mosquitoes uh, last up to two hours deep free so I like that it was the natural and I always use like those little bands those are really good from pick and I am when we go fishing when we are outside and there's a lot of mosquitoes I do the mosquito cools I do the mosquito incense incense um, I, I don't like mosquitoes around me I whelp up a lot so I wanted to try this out if you've tried this let me know you only get three fluid ounces in here but it's a good thing to try out for a dollar 25 um, moving to like the crafter square section I found a couple of new items now one of the items I know was out I believe last year they just came to my store this one was new it's just a what are they calling it Crafter Square LED Unfinished Wood Light. Now, it's super tiny, and they did have three different ones, but I picked up just this one. Um, I'm going to just do like a whitewash on it and put it on a tray. You could use it for a two-tier tray. You could use it for a shelf. It's not super large, but it is a decent, uh, you know, size for decorating just small decoration you could put wood transfers on here it did have the little tab in there oh looky there and that's how well it lights up that is going to be super cute and then 
the way this is the way it looks on top and it does have the twine it's just solid all the way around except for right here at the front this is just more farmhouse to me the other ones they, the other ones were really pretty as well but I did pick up just one of those and then this I wanted this so bad last year uh, they're just light bulb terrarium um, how cute is this guys how cute is this little light bulb so it does have the twine up top and the gold if you don't like the top you could always change the color can you take that off I wonder oh yeah you could you could take this off it screws on and off if you don't like the gold you could spray paint it black or silver or whatever color you would like um, I'm excited about this one because I have been looking at real succulents because I have those little planters and how pretty would this be just sitting hanging whatever it so be this is my aesthetic I love it I love it love it love it for a dollar 25 I picked up that little light bulb oh yeah 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 okay so in like the um, fairy garden stuff they did have the little lighthouse and I picked it up because and I, this is probably not worth a dollar 25 but I did finally redecorate -de my bathroom hopefully I can get I did do a small video I haven't looked back at the footage but if the footage is kind of bad I'm probably just going to post a picture on Instagram so make sure that you're following me on Instagram so that you can see how that turned out but I thought this would be cute just to you know set on the shelf that um I put up in my bathroom just to set it around it's, it's tiny I didn't buy a whole lot like that um I did by jot just pick up some sticky notes um I just need this for work I, I just need it for work guys so I picked up some sticky notes okay in the beauty aisle I did actually find a couple of items that I've been wanting they had the China glaze nail polish now do I need more nail polish no but I did buy six they didn't have I know on Instagram they had I don't know if I've I haven't seen anybody haul them but I have seen it on Instagram where they've had the set of three in different colors but my store had them individually in a massive amount of colors i just picked six different colors out i, I don't i want to say they might have had 10 different colors but this one is more like an orangey <sighs> let me put on my glasses guys so that i can see what color it may be if it has a color this one is called metro pollen paula pollen tin <laughs> so it's more like a light pale orange color and so the color was metropola tin if you can see that and then I picked up if if in doubt shut it out it's a darker orange it is more like a pinky orange and then that's what the color is if you're interested and then I found a yellow what's well, kind of like a yellowish green it's it's all tech techno and they have like these little things like this little design on the little handle lid so it's kind of like a yellowish green and that's the color if you're interested and then these three are different types of bluish greens this one was like a sesame street you do who hue dat color dough that's what it's called dat color dough and it's like a little sparkly glitter dat color though and I bought it because of this color right here how cute would that be like this for an accent nail 
Oh, super pretty, super pretty. Uh, this this one's Wait and See. Wait and See is that color. And then this last one's like, that's all the nail polish I got, I promise. I, I behaved myself. I did pick up six, but I did behave myself. This one is My Way or The Highway. The names get me, guys. The names get me. I have been really into, like, these types of colors here lately. So, I, it's what I geared to. So, yeah, they had lots, lots of China Glaze. And China Glaze nail polish, it, even when I was in cosmetology school at one point, like, China Glaze was the thing. And that's what all the nail shops had back then. I want to say that was back in 2010, 2011. Okay, I thought this was kind of interesting. It was just a random little product sitting in the beauty aisle. And I do have one little issue, so I thought I would try it because I have some heavier studs, some heavier earrings. And this one ear kind of bothers me sometimes. And I feel like it kind of pulls down my ear. It's called Easily Lifts and Secure Your Earrings Amazing Ear Lifter. Helps with bad piercings, stretched lobes, and heavy earrings. New. Uh, yeah. Firmly secures and supports your earrings. Oh my gosh. So, this was just random. Uh, I thought it might have been like an ad scene on TV, but uh, it's not. And this is the reason why I bought it, because I looked on the back. Do you see this right here? So I have a pair of studs that kind of weigh my ears down like that. And they're saying that these little lifts actually pull them up and helps your earrings. So I'm going to give it a go. I only bought one. Uh, if it actually does work, I may go ahead and pick up another one since I'm doing some gift baskets. Um, that would be a cute little thing to kind of put in there. Just something random. Okay, a, a wish list item. Uh, was the Chapstick Total Hydration Moisture Intent. I only found, they only had one in my store, which is the Coral Blush. Coral, yeah, Coral Blush. I know y'all have seen this, but this was the only one. They finally just got just this one of the Chapstick stuff. So, I know that had been floating around for a while. And I have been in love with this new Be Pure line that they have. The packaging is amazing. And I really like the... It's supposed to be lipstick, but it's more to me like a lip balm. Kind of like this right here. Like a tinted lip balm. I like them. I'll put on my lipstick um, while I'm at work. If my lips get a little dry, I'll just kind of spread the other ones around. And I like the lavender lip balm as well. It's clear. But this one is the Lip Sugar Scrub. I'm going to use this for give, uh, giveaways. I'm using these for gift baskets. So there's the Sleeping Lip Mask with Lavender Oil because I'm doing the lavender, a lavender gift basket. And then I'm going to throw that in there as well. So this is the Lip Scrub and this is the Lip Oil. I don't know. I hate to... I'm not going to open it, open it, but it just comes in a little container like that. So, yeah, those are going to be for little gift baskets. Things like this are really good to do gift baskets. So, I did pick that up. And then in the Tupperware aisle, I needed some of these smaller little containers to put some of my bobby pins and some of my elastics that I use. So I just bought two of them with the snap lid so that I can put them in my cabinet. I have also been on an organiz organizational kick. I rearranged my sock drawer down here. I rearranged my gym drawer, my undergarment drawer. Uh, my closet is rearranged. My husband's side. I rearranged my kitchen cabinets. On my first day off, I, I did all this. Like I was in like a organizational mode. So, um, it was the one day. I only went to the Dollar Tree once, guys, this week. Only once. This is just one trip. <laughs> one trip. Um, they did have these new containers. Uh, this is just the butter ones. And, um, it's not by Greenbrier. But the reason why I 
Bor Boris plastic. The reason why I like this one versus the, is it Surefresh or Cooking Concepts? It may be Cooking Concepts. Um, they have one, but it's, it's, it's a dish and then the lid is on top and it moves around. But this one ac actually snaps. So I really like that it snaps down. I can put my stick of butter in there and it's not floating all around my refrigerator because I keep my butter in the refrigerator. I know some people keep their stick butters out, but I don't. So I liked that it was a snap. It kind of secured it. So I don't know if you can see where it says Boris Plastics. I mean, it's not Greenbrier, so plastic butter dish. Yeah, I love that it snaps. I got excited about that, guys. I really did. Okay, I found two soups by Del Monte. Veggie Full Tuscan Quinoa Ball. Uh, ball. Bowl. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Non-GMO. Eight grams of plant protein. This one has red bell, bell peppers. Pen, panamento. Pen, I don't know. Carrot, zucchini, artichoke, tomato, eggplant, white and red quinoa. So, for $1.25, I don't know what these originally cost, but uh, $1.25, I don't think it's too bad for something like this. And then here are the nutritional factors in the back if you would like. 200 calories per serving. And one container is a serving. Almost dropped it. And then they had the veg veggie full basil pesto quinoa bowl. Lentils, basil, peas, spinach, pine nuts, parmesan cheese, carrots, red bell pepper. I just dropped it, guys. I can't believe I dropped that. Just flew it. It just flew out of my hand. Okay, where was I at? Uh, carrot, red bell pepper, zucchini, white quinoa. So, yeah. A plant base. This one has nine grams. This is what this one looked like right here. And see, your pesto is up here. I bet you that's going to be good, that pesto. And see, that's the sauce for the other one. Some people might not like that, but... And the dates were good. I can't remember where This one says December of 2022. And this one was December of 22 as well. And then here are the nutritional factors in the back. If you would like, there's more calories in this particular one, but... I've been working night, so I don't want to make too much noise when I come home from lunch because my husband is sleeping. So I thought this would be good to just pop in the microwave, not make too much noise, and yeah. All right. I did all the rest of this is food items because, guys, I love finding food at the Dollar Tree. Absolutely. Now, this one's... This one only has four. It's the Quaker Instant oat, Oatmeal Chocolate Flavor. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like that. Um, I'm going to give it a go, but the packaging looks so nice. Yeah. Uh, this is the nutritional factors in the back, if you would like to know. You only get four, four packages. We've got a better deal at Dollar Tree when getting the other ones. But I never found the strawberries and cream, the peaches and cream and all that. So to get things like this to even at least try is pretty good. 24 grams of whole grains. So anyway, I picked that up. And now these were new and I love Cambodia. Um, I have bought numerous of these things out at regular grocery stores, and believe me, they're not $1.25. So, to get this one, and I don't know what this brand normally runs, but it was just in individual cans, and the only flavor that was at my store was this one. I have seen someone else haul a couple of different flavors. I'm hoping I get those flavors as well. Uh, Koi. Organic Cambodia, Blueberry, and Ginger. Um, I'm excited about this, guys. I love, love Cambodia drinks. It, they're really good for you. Uh, this is the nutritional factors in the back. I had an old co-worker. She made her own Cambodia. So, yeah. Uh, you get 12 fluid ounces in there. I thought this was amazing to find for $1.25. 
Um, this is a repurchase. This is the Bisquick Cheese Garlic and Naturally flavor Flavored. You just add water. These are amazing, guys. These remind me of the Red Lobster Little Cheddar Biscuits. Um, they're amazing. So I bought another one. I love keeping stuff like this on hand. And it runs about the same when you pick it up at a regular grocery store. Now, this was weird. We don't... Weird. It's not weird, guys. It's not weird. Scratch what I just said. I just was amazed that it was at Dollar Tree. Uh, it was a value five-pack grape for a dollar a dollar it was not a dollar 25 i don't know why it rang up for a dollar but it was a dollar so i don't know what kool-aid runs in the grocery store because i don't buy kool-aid but i thought this would be good to keep when the grandkids come because they do drink kool-aid every so often and i think my husband drinks kool-aid as well but i don't i never have i think excuse me when i was a kid i did but I'm more of a tea drinker, a juice drinker, a soda drinker, things like that. So, to get five packs uh, for a dollar, I don't know what they run in the store. Y'all let me know in the comment section below if five packs is uh, worth it. It makes ten quarts. But a five pack of Kool-Aid. Oh my gosh. So, I picked it up. I, I picked it up, guys. I picked it up. Okay, last two things. I did find the Harry and David's. Now, I didn't get the tins. They had the tins as well, but they had the boxes. And I wanted the boxes because I am doing those gift baskets. And I thought this would be good to stick certain little, like, little treats in those gift baskets. These are the chocolate wafer rolls. Uh, 2.5 ounces. So, yeah. Um... I don't know how well these taste, but um, I thought these were really cute. Uh, just in the simple, and I think they had the hazelnut as well. Those were the only two flavors in the boxes. Now they had the tins with the strawberry, the chocolate. Was it hazel in that one as well? But they had them in those tins. I just didn't, I didn't want the tins. I just wanted these. And last and final item is the Vegetable bou Bouillon by Leaping Leopard. Um, I actually use the beef and the chicken, so uh, whenever I need vegetable stock for certain things, I'm just going to use this. This works amazing. Works perfectly fine. Perfectly fine for me. Alright, that is all I have for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm going to open my card up from Karen. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been crazy. Oh my gosh, it has been so crazy. So Karen sent me a little card. It has some rainbows and some hearts. I'm probably covering the hearts, but I'm trying to cover our addresses. And uh, a rainbow with clouds on the back. She does have a channel. I will make sure that I put her channel in the description box below. Make sure that you go over there and check her out and tell her I said hello. Oh, look how pretty. Hope you had a happy Mother's Day. Thank you for so much for all of your love and your support. Oh, look at the little, um, look at the little stickers on there. So cute. Looky there. Oh, she's so sweet, guys. Y'all make sure that y'all give, um, Karen a visit over there on her channel but that's all I have for my Dollar Tree haul I'm probably not going to do a slideshow in this one but remember I do have the giveaway so hashtag gift card if you want to enter the $25 Dollar Tree gift card giveaway that was a mouthful guys that was a mouthful um thank you so much for hanging out with me I will see y'all in my next one Stay positive. There's always tomorrow. Bye, guys.